All right. Hello, everyone. It's me, back with uh, Unique Sandwiches. I know we skipped a couple days there, and I'm sure my faithful audience was a little bit disappointed about that, but we're back. And today, we're going to try a sandwich inspired by my nephew. It's as it's close. Like, I think he requested I try a mashed potato, Ritz cracker, tuna, and apple sandwich. <laughs> and I got hash browns, leftover hash browns. These Ritz crackers with the cheese. Harvested them from the baby. Well, that didn't sound right. <laughs> I uh, procured them from the baby's snack supply, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, and then we got our apple. Fuji, I think he requested green. And then I got some some light, light tuna. Oh, in vegetable oil. Okay. So, here we go. Let us prepare this lovely sandwich. Let's just see what we're doing here. Alright. So, the first things first. We got this lovely tuna and oil. Actually... We're gonna drain a little bit of this oil off the top, so we'll be right back. Hold on a moment. Oh, all right, we are back, everyone. Drained a little bit of oil off this tuna, but not too much, because uh, we like the oil. And since we don't have any condiments on this sandwich, this is gonna make for this is gonna make it less dry, right? Okay, so spreading the lovely tuna and oil over a sandwich here oh yeah ah, smells good I recommend the tuna and oil tuna and water bland okay rich crackers we'll just do like little little pieces of this here okay it's looking really good we'll do Maybe another one here. Alright. Oh, Alright. Oh, right. Oh, alright. Okay. And some uh, apples. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a, a healthy sandwich right here. Okay. And then, last but not least, the leftover hash browns that my wife made. Oh, Spill them a little bit. Don't worry. I'll clean that up later. Okay. And I did take the liberty of... Oh, man, this isn't working that well. What the... I took the liberty of heating up the hash browns a little bit, too. So, I hope that's okay with you people out there. What is going on here? Having some issues. Okay, that's it. Going to the other piece of bread here. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Mmm, nummy. Okay. Mmm, num. Okay. All right. This thing looks like it's gonna eat like a meal. Wow. That's a good looking sandwich. Okay, everyone. Mmm, num, num. Eating a little hash brown on the side there. Here we go. Just gonna pick up this little morsel here. Uh, oh, okay. All right, here we go. This is the tuna Ritz cracker with cheese. Um, I think it's a Fuji apple and leftover hash brown sandwich. Here we go. Mm. Mm-hmm.
No, no cut. So, mm. oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> this is a good sandwich. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, Just right off the bat, once again, the hash brown reigns supreme in this sandwich. A lot of good flavors there. Salty, peppery, yummy. Then the tuna. You guys probably aren't going to believe this. It just blends perfectly in there with everything. The oil giving it just the right amount of moisture. <clears throat> Then the apple hits you a little bit. Mmm. A little sweet, fuzzy apple. Really good. And a little bit of texture from the rich crackers. Not really tasting the rich crackers a whole lot though. Like a little bit of tuna. A little bit of hash brown and some apple coming through nice. Mm. Okay, this is a good sandwich. I'm gonna rate this about an eight and a half on my sandwich scale, one to ten. I'm gonna give a shout out to my nephew. Thank you, nephew, for suggesting this great sandwich. The hash brown, tuna, apple, and rich cracker sandwich, folks. I'm going to finish the rest of this. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want. And we'll keep the unique sandwiches coming for your viewing pleasure. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Oh, <laughs> have a great day.